Hi guys, another one of those little side tracks. Um, I was going to be doing something completely different today, but in the comments, Slider2732 has suggested a little demonstration on these normal DC motors. Uh, this is one I've taken apart for a reason. And he was saying, you realise you can make these run as brushless motors. Now, clearly, it's a brush motor. It's got a commutator on here. But the idea is you take the feed from each of the coils. So you've got the three tags there. Take them out and feed them into an ESC. So you've got your three wires in. And then you just rest the magnets in the case on the shaft and it should spin round. Now I'm not quite sure how well it will go because it's a little bit loose on there. But I'm going to see if I can make it work. That actually feels a little bit stiff on there. Might need to put a little bit of oil on it or something. This may be one I've taken apart because it's seized up at some time or other. Anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder three leads directly onto those tags because that's a convenient way to do it. And then take those leads and connect them to my ESC. Uh, I've got a servo tester that I can plug into the ESC there so we can control it and connect a battery up to there. Right, so that's our three coils connected. So this remains stationary and it's the magnets that spin round.
Uh, right. Battery. It's a bit big, don't want that one. That's a 2S, that's probably a bit much. Thought I had some 1S's. floor. Right then. Okay, is it going to work? We've got power. There we go. So there you go, demonstration, brushed motor, running us brushless. LiPo battery, ESC, servo controller or tester, just so we can do it without having to rig up radio control, and then an ordinary brushed motor. quite warm actually, um, with the wires taken off the commutator and going directly 
to the ESC. Oh, that didn't sound very happy then. Right, here we go. Job done. Thank you, Slider.